Hey there guys, gals, fans, and pals. Welcome back, welcome back. My name is John Megacycle. This is our first look into Mini Metro. How you doing today? Hope you're doing well. It's good to see you again. Mini Metro is, I guess I would call it a puzzle game. Maybe a strategy game? I guess puzzle is probably the best way to explain this kind of a game. Very, very low key. You're not going to see a whole lot of zombies and base defense here. Uh, Mini Metro is a game I stumbled upon, I think when it first came out, I jumped on the bandwagon. It was inexpensive, it was, uh... I don't remember how exactly, but I found it on Steam, so you can you can also find it on Steam. Um, how to explain this one? Uh, the Metro is the train system, or subway station. Um, the way in which this is designed is if you've ever seen subway schematic not really schematic but the plans for you know if you want to go to this street you got to be at this stop at this time to get on this subway to go to there to go to here you get the idea um but they're all drawn in these little colorful lines and stuff is how and you can see the trains are actually moving around or whatever the metro uh, is moving around picking up people transporting it whatever um so when you start the game you get a couple of maps unlocked for you uh london paris new york city berlin melbourne and other ones require certain population or people transported on a previous map. So we've got a bunch of options. This game's got really good playability. A lot of maps here. I'm still clicking through all these maps. Holy cow, I didn't realize. Um, wow, okay. So we're going to go back, and then we're going to hit new again, so that way we're at the front. Right? No, oh, it takes us all the way back. Dang it. Uh, that's okay. So our idea for this game is to transport people... Uh, from place to place. Realistically, that's all there is to it. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get started on London. Um, as you can see here, uh, redesign the original Underground Railway, the London Tube. Uh, best is, again, going to be our score. Uh, played whatever minutes. Um, I had this when it came out, and I reinstalled it, finally taking another crack at it. Uh, oh my gosh, that's the high score? Yeah, no crap, but zero points. <laughs> Alright, let's see if memory serves. Let's give this thing a go. This game does start with a cute little tutorial. Um, I had to, I played it and skipped it. Um, so anyway, here's how this works. We have circles, which are stops, also triangles, squares, pentagons, diamonds, tri there's gonna be all these shapes. Every so often, these stops produce a shape. That shape needs to go to a certain place, just like this. You draw a line. We have one train that goes from stop A to stop B. Pretty straightforward. I'm actually going to do something like this. Nope. Okay, now it all went squiffy. Nope, come on now. There we go. Um, so this is generating, as I was saying, different types of passengers. Different types of passengers want to go to a different place, indicated by the shape. And this is fairly straightforward stuff. Um, works out pretty well. And um, what I'm going to do instead of that now is I'm going to do something like this. Um, so we have separate stops. Um, you might notice that the way I have this currently drawn up is if there's any square passengers that come here, they cannot come over here because it's a separate line. You can actually combine lines like so and have them overlap as you wish. Now, this game is intelligent in the statement that if one line cannot sedate the needs of a passenger, but another line can, it will actually go ahead and do the transportation of that passenger for you. Um, no. You can even triple overlap, something like this. You could do something like this if you really wanted to. But now, as I was saying with the intelligence, I did it this way for a reason. Any square passengers that come on the blue line, they will be dropped off somewhere around here to get to the square line. Or to the square stop, I should say. Uh, my terminology is probably not all that great. Um, I don't have to use the subway on the regular, so I'm not too sure. <laughs> uh, but the thing is, it. Uh, okay, we're going to do this now. Um, let's go over the kinds of items at our disposal. Down here we have a certain amount of locomotives. We'll also unlock carriages, which will increase the capacity of one of our locomotives. We also have our three lines here. We can unlock more lines if we need. And then also tunnels or bridges or what have you to get across the water. I don't want to do this. Oh, cool. Every week you'll get a new reward, so to speak. So week two, you have a new locomotive for your metro. Fantastic. Uh, which new asset would you like for your new metro? We can do a new line. 
or some tunnels. Again, this is where we're going to get the option for either a bigger station or a carriage or whatever. Um, let's go some more tunnels. I'm out of tunnels. I'm just going to do something like this. Um, now... Since I didn't opt for a new line, I can go ahead and just drop this train wherever I want it to be, and it'll just, bam, it's a train now on that line. No big deal about that. Um, what I usually like to do is I like to build, like, one core line, like this, like yellow is the core with blue bobbing about, and that sort of a thing. That's kind of how I like to rig this up. I'm um, having this cross coverage thing, as I was mentioning, like this ensures that we've got more than one train from more than one line coming to more than one station and it really ensures that if there's a specific type of passenger we need to get moving around it makes it a lot less tedious um to back it up you just kind of drag it backwards and there we go there's that so yellow being the main line we're going to probably get another line upgrade the next time we get the option um another thing that's interesting about this game is stations can change type so that's thing that's something you really gotta stay on your feet about. That can be really, really touchy. Just another thing to pay attention to. This game is fairly fluid uh, with what can be changing. So I'm gonna go like this, and I'm gonna take this train, and I'm gonna face it the other way like that. See, now we're starting to get more and more passengers. It's gonna make this a bit more tricky. We're close to a one week end though, and we're halfway through Friday. Oh, um, actually, take that back. Um, there's two colors to this, right? Oh, day and night is the indication. So it's midnight on Saturday, 3 a.m. on Saturday, 6 a.m. Now it's daytime. Okay, I get it. I'm just going to back that out like that. Now, again, if I want to alleviate congestion, we can do this, and the blue line will help out. Um, you have to be really careful. The thing that will always get you in this game is expecting too much out of your lines that's what'll get you so making sure that we don't have you know too much going on yeah see now this is where this is gonna be a problem let's stop blue that way let's turn it this way um, i'm playing this particular way so you can kind of see the capabilities of having you know this is one kind of methodology having one big fat rail line and then have come a few others come off and on and whatever branching off um i will ask for another line this time thank you and we open up another color. This looks like a, I don't know, cyan to me. Oh, let's just lock it down there. That way that makes a little more sense. It stays put. So it's got a real super calm feel to it, you know? Like, I'm not rushed. Um, but of course, I didn't really finish talking about the objectives of the game. The objective of this game is to transport passengers, as you're seeing here. Um, if too many passengers are sitting at a station... The passengers get irate, as one would expect. And if they wait for too long, we will see it. I mean, we play until the game kicks us out, really. I mean, it's a game of high score sort of a thing. There's no real objective we're meeting except getting more points. Uh, but we'll, we'll see it. The game will forcibly kick us out. There's only really so much we can do. Um, of course, we saw that one dude with 11,000 whatever passengers, which is amazing. Good kudos to them. That's impressive. But again, I think as you guys might know me... Ah, oh, there we go. There's our first star. Um, as you guys might know me, um, I'm not really super into competitive all the time. I like to enjoy games. I like to just just relax, man. Do what you gotta do. Meditate. Have a nice meal. Get a nice bath in. Just relax. This is a relaxing game. Base isn't under attack. Aliens aren't rampaging the fort. The stockade walls will hold another day. I should really start up another line, um, but the problem is at this juncture, I don't have another rail car. Um, I should peel yellow back a little bit. It's getting a little too much. If there's one more stop that comes in, I'll pull one of the trains off and start a new line. Now, the benefit for starting additional lines, as I'm sure you can tell, is it really concentrates where the trains are and where they're going to be. One long line means, okay, there's 10 stops here or whatever, take your time to get to them, whatever, right? But if you have it more concentrated, like we have read a little more concentrated, um, we have these four stops which are going to hit be hit more frequently. Of course, we add more locomotives here to make this a lot less of a pain in the rumpus, but we'll see. 
Now, one of the things... Okay, cool. Locomotive. Ah, carriage. As I mentioned before, it'll literally double the capacity of a single train, which isn't a bad upgrade. And the interchange improves, improves, <laughs> improves the station's capacity and transfer speed. Once we identify what stations are a little more heavy hit, that's awesome. I'm going to grab the carriage, however. Now, as we're playing, we got to think of a couple of things here. There's only one place to get star passengers to. So the thing is, I want to make sure that this line stays quick, because star passengers are going to be dropped off right here on the square, and I want to make sure that they're pulled over. Or if they're coming from the blue line, they'll be dropped here. Um, looks like it was dropped here for some reason? I'm not sure. Um, anyway, I think it's time for blue to get an upgrade. Um, locomotive or carriage? Let's go locomotive. And actually, there's another line I want to build. Um, what day is it? Wednesday? Uh, is there a way I can get rid of square passengers? Yes, like that. That will help alleviate this a bunch. Okay, yellow is getting a little bit uh, verbose over here. Yep, and this is what will help out a bunch, actually. Um, I could trim up blue all the way, loop it back this way, clean this up a bunch. Um, well, blue just got elected to do more stuff. Um, let's do that. I think that's a good idea. Now, when we backpedal, you might notice that the, I would kind of leave my trains, you know, stuck. But in this case, what they'll do is they'll come back. They'll come back the way they came, kind of no problem. Um, we're doing... Uh, no, that's fine. Let's do that. Backpedal. Now, see, the thing is, depending on how you draw this too, this is going to add a considerable amount of time to people's commutes. So I kind of want to make this smart. You know, we've already got a yellow train out here. That's a quick jaunt. No big deal. Oh, the game is now going to get to the part where it really ramps up. Yeah, see, now this is getting a bigger problem. Rerouting and routing all this stuff for it to make sense is what's difficult. Alright. Oh my gosh. A locomotive. Uh, another carriage would be sweet. Next time we'll go interchange. Um, the, the UI is a little finicky in terms of all this drawing and such, but it's not its not difficult. Uh, let's relink that. Um, you are gonna need to do that and that. Um, I don't have another line. I kinda want blue to have a second train. Does blue not have a second train? It does not. Okay, expectations are being added. You get a carriage. Now who in the heck is gonna get this? yellow is. Hello, hi, hello, hi, hello, hi. Right? I think so. You get a carriage. Yeah. <laughs> Calm game. Music is a little odd for me. Um, maybe a little nerve-wracking? I'm not sure. It's calm for sure. Um, definitely not criticizing here. It's all a matter of preference, right? Yeah, definitely a lot of logistical nightmare nonsense with this. Which is good. Uh, it makes for a very challenging, fun g Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Alright, what was I saying? It makes for a good, fun, challenging game. Um, up here, if you can see the little thing pulsing. Um, what that means is, hey... There's too many people here. The ones that are bouncing up and down are the ones that are overflowed, which is a problem. So what we're really getting at here is I need to get all these passengers peeled off before this little timer on the outside fills up completely. Once it does, I lose the game. So I'm not going to do any changing. We're not going to do a bunch of modifying. I kind of want to see... I want you guys to see when it really crashes down. And this is all becoming preposterous. See, there's got three, four, five people waiting at many of these stops. Yeah, and the thing is, blue is just dumping off stuff. Dumping off passengers like crazy. Um, who's supposed to come get this? 
even. <laughs> Locomotive, great. Um, interchange, we're gonna grab this and use it immediately. There we go. Interchange is placed. Um, blue doesn't have access to square, now you do. Hopefully that'll alleviate that part of the line. Cyan has access to square also. Um, neither have access to plus though, so this will help out a bunch. Ah crap, are you kidding? Where did I go? Square? With this? Yeah, square is a problem. Um, cross is a problem here as well. Okay, hopefully these trains coming back will pick up. Pick up the slack on this cross here. There we go. That's significantly better. Yeah, two full loads of cross? Is that it? I wonder why it slows down. Oh, when it crosses other lines, it slows down. Interesting. I did not know about that mechanic. Okay, that's being taken care of very well. Okay, so this was dropping off squares, picking up triangles. Okay, makes sense. Uh, that station, that interchange or whatever, really saved our bacon. That worked out very well. That bought me a lot of extra time. Uh, another locomotive and another carriage on Cyan, I think, is what I want. This can help just shoveling squares out of here, which is what I need. Okay, easy win there. That was very straightforward. <laughs> Is this connected? It is now. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. Quite. Hmm. Yeah, see, the music is calm, but it just seems a little odd. Also, I think I have the volume on low, and it's gotten louder, which is interesting. Um, I don't like that at all. Cool, new locomotive. Um, another interchange would be fine, thank you. Um, I don't really like this setup I just did. That looks okay. Um, okay, that has an interchange, you can tell because the circle is significantly bigger. Blue needs another one, I'm sure. Uh, I really want blue to have access to square. Um, I did say that I wanted cyan to have this. To shovel off some of these square... Ah, uh, dang it, really? No matter how I slice this, this is gonna suck. So, there, I guess. <laughs> My blue line has become monstery, which is not what I wanted. Okay, this just changed shapes. Awesome. Uh, we need to start keeping an eye out for where these might come. I might need to branch this off a bit, or like Cyan might have to come into here or something, because this is a heck of a path, no matter how you slice it. Um, another line would actually have been nice by now. I could have cut this all out. Um, but that's okay. Lesson learned. Oh, you got to be freaking kidding me. You know what? Tell people to just walk. Don't take the metro. Just walk. You'll get to your destination much faster at this point. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I feel bad for all the jerks that have to wait. <coughs> Alright. So one thing to note is once people are on a train, they don't get irritated anymore. They're only irritated and I could only lose if they're at a station. So realistically, I, have a, I could have a train line starting from here in the upper right, all the way to the upper left, and then all the way to the lower left if that's where they needed to go. Um, this isn't really applicable for this whatever, but you know if I move them to the other side of the map as long as they're on a train They don't care um, I think I see my next interchange. You've got to be kidding me uh, That's a thing now I usually don't throw down interchanges until I desperately need it. And I think I'm okay right now. Yeah, I definitely need to cut this out. What day is it today? Sunday? Another line, please. Thank you so much. Cut down. 
Cut, cut, cut there. There. Try that. Interchange. Thunk. That was getting very close. Um, you suck. Okay, I need this to connect because the other parts need to... whatever. <laughs> I can't even words at the moment. Um, yes, please hit there. I need that desperately. Adding other lines is absolutely critical for exactly where we just did it. Is there's a bunch of bunch of hits that are right next to each other. It makes literally no sense for another heavier congested line to come all the way over when it could be maximizing its time for well for here, for example, where it's much more needed. Um I would love another blue. Yeah, I would love another blue rail car. Locomotive, whatever. Um. Ew. I don't like it, but... That's it. I don't like it, but... With that kind of a statement, it sounds like I'm calling someone else a butt. I don't like it, but I don't like it. <laughs> ah, dang it! Come on. Okay, ding, dingy, ding, 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 ding. Cool. <laughs> Problem kind of solved. Okay, good. I'm really glad I've got a couple of spots there. Uh, cross is on this line. Gotta be kidding me. Good. Good. Good? Question mark? I think? Uh, green is gonna get hammered really quick here. It's Sunday, another locomotive would be great, and it's going right on the green line. And a carriage would be superb. Uh, this cyan one is not looking great. A locomotive, carriage, thank you so much. Um, there is a pause and a speed up feature, which we are going to use freaking right now. Um... I think Cyan should get a carriage, or Blue should get a carriage, considering all this needs to get out of here. And Blue is the only one that has access to that. So, in my very finite wisdom... Um, actually, Green should get the carriage. Green needs another locomotive. That's what it, it needs more volume. In and out. Um. And I think blue needs the carriage. I I'm feeling that's where it should go. Uh, blue does have access to cross as well, so that should help. Okay. Cross or plus or whatever you want to call it. Oh, you have got to be kidding. All right. Time to earn your keep, green. <laughs> Time to earn your keep. Alright, someone's got to come down here and take care of this yellow thing. And I think I'm going to lose, and that's okay. Uh, trains don't prioritize. If there's a stop that's close, they'll hit... Oh, go, oh, 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 oh. Oh my gosh, yes. Woo hoo hoo Load it up. Uh, trains don't rush to an area where it's hey this one's on fire come over here it doesn't it doesn't do that it'll go to where it needs to go where the next hit is and that's about it um but yeah there's no prioritizing here this guy's gonna hit here it's gonna pick up some people it's probably gonna max out yeah it maxed out whatever nothing nothing doing about it this train is my only hope to get the job done which it might not make it in time. Oh, I didn't even notice these things. And game over. Yep. Yeah. There you go. So, 1466 passengers. Traveled on my metro in 59 days. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. A little clustery, but there's some things I did want to explain, and that's why I played the way I played. Also, my brain is a little clustery also. So, whatever. Um, restart, continue, and endless or menu. That's really all there is to it. Very simple game. Get item A to spot B, route it through C, plus 7, 
83 the parameter, 60 quintuple the fifth, and there you go, that's dumb math. Okay, so clicking on this again tells us our best, tells us how much we played. Um, oddly enough, the episodes, well, 26 minutes I think we're almost at, and it's been, uh, whatever, 19 minutes. It says, hey, top 30%, I am happy with that. Very good. Okay, well that was our first look at Mini Metro. I think what we'll do is we'll probably play two or three more of these maps. I at least wanted to give you a taste of what this kind of game was and what it was about. Yeah, I think that's good. My name's John Megacycle. Thanks for joining me, and I hope to catch you next time.